A man hangs on for dear life on a dock after the boat sank that he was uh, steering. It sank in the Ohio River. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Pat Simon. And I'm Amanda Barron. So John DeLauder is counting his blessings tonight after what happened to him, he says, is nothing short of a miracle. 13 News reporter Lane Ball sat down with him as he describes the reason he believes he's alive tonight. It started as just another day of boating on the Ohio River for John DeLauder. I put the boat in the water, which I should have had, but I've done it before. But not long after hitting the water near the Worthington Marina, things quickly took a turn for the worst. Just as I hit that end of the dock, I don't know whether I passed out or whatever and fell inside the boat and it sunk. And then when I hit the water, it all woke me up. DeLauder says he made it back to this dock and found a pontoon boat. You had to hold that little rail there on it to pull me up. Well, that little rail broke off. And there I was, <laughs> I just hanging on and hollering. What was going through your mind in that moment? Well, uh, my wife just died two weeks ago, and I had, you know, had her on my mind. Right before he was about to lose hope, Terry Hapney Jr. just happened to be in the right place at the right time. He was home from work early and heard the cries for help. I have my beliefs in terms of my faith that, that there was a reason why I was sitting at that table and I could hear this loud, you know, moaning. Of, it was despair is, is what it was. And I walk out there and I'm hearing, you know, help me, help me screaming, you know, please help me. Hapney dialed 911 and that's when Worthington police officer Jordan Smith and rescue crews responded. Notice I can hear screaming, but I cannot see nobody. And I could tell it's coming from either off the bank on the backside or it's in the water. Officer Smith and firefighter David Grubb borrowed a nearby canoe to investigate. Paddled over to the dock, got over into the pontoon and helped the gentleman stay afloat until we, the rescue boats got to us. Now this is the same area John DeLauder was found and much like today it was pretty warm but the water is so cold hypothermia could have easily set in. It can be 80 degrees outside, water temperature still 50. Fortunately, that didn't happen. DeLauder was taken to the hospital following the rescue, but he was released Monday night. And now, he's grateful to those who saved him. I just want to thank the Lord there. He was with me. And God bless him, guys that was down there. In Worthington, Lane Ball, 13 News.